I don't mind C betting here with the queens, although check is also fine. No need to go huge or anything. I actually like this check raise quite a bit. I like it a lot. This is a very advanced play, in fact. So we open 6-7, which is kind of loose, but fine. Definitely nothing wrong with that. Um, obviously, you can't open every single pair and pseudo connector every single time, especially with the with the high rake. Jason ends up leading here. Had he led really large, we probably can just fold the flop already. But I think against this small bet, you know, we beat some value hands. Obviously, we beat every bluff. We can, against a good player, at least turn our hand into a bluff sometimes on later streets. So I don't think Jason is going to go particularly crazy here, but against this third pot bet, I think we just have to call. 10, 9, 8 is obviously a very scary board for everybody. And now on the turn, I wouldn't hate if you ended up bluffing here. Ace 5 3 is not entirely harmless, but it's not a terrible board. I mean, it's obviously a pretty good board, like Ace High and Dry. Actually, don't mind you having a check back range. I think that's fine. Villain checks behind, like within a millisecond. Tells me he probably has either nothing or something decent, you know, hand like Ace 7 or Jack 9. I wouldn't hate if you ended up bluffing here. Uh, one thing that I really like about your game is that you're doing a great job of. Oh, and now you check behind with delayed aggression. As in, you know, you're kind of letting your opponent give away some info by doing a lot of checking, and then it seems like you are very aggressive once he's checked uh, multiple times, and every single time you've basically taken it down. So you're good at gauging where your opponent is at by having some check behinds. And now, you know, Villain snap checks the, f the turn, and now he bets small and river. He's saying he's got a hand like, you know, a7, or again, king jack, you know, jack nine, whatnot. Obviously, he could, you know, obviously, he could just pretend to have that as well, right? Doesn't mean he actually does. Ace-8, folding is just standard, okay? Again, so against, you know, most 3 bets, we can just play quite tight. The fact that most villains are not super loose, they don't 3-bet that much, you know, the, high, the rake's high. Most villains also 3-bet a bit on the large side as well, which is a mistake. All right, a couple of interesting spots. 7-5 suited, I think we can defend multi-way. Queens normally is a call here, deep stack mo uh, most of the time. But the thing is, you're only playing, you know, villain only has 37 bigs. So against 37 bigs, you know, 30 VPIP kind of loose, I would definitely go ahead and just shove it in. Your hand needs too much protection. 9-7 here. Um, you know, against the min raise, we can defend a lot, but the thing is with the rake, probably still have to fold. And ace nine we open obviously a six three is quite a safe board for us so we can do a lot of betting here, and obviously we'd pick a small sizing. Snapped. Okay, very happy. You know when when you get three bet small and MP, and you know you get absolutely snapped. You're obviously very worried about aces and kings. Nice hand. Um, we defend queen unsuited. I was going to say that's okay. Squeezing is okay too, but calling is standard. And, you know, it's not a spot in which we should have a leading range, in my opinion. So obviously going to check with the nuts. Meanwhile, 7-5, I think, fold is standard. <clears throat> we could go ahead and do something, but I think it's a bit ambitious. I mean, so you're, I think what you're saying is I've got pocket fours, I've got more threes than you do, um, which is both true. Uh, you may be attacking a recreational player, though. So um, I, I really like the idea of doing this, but I think the execution, I think the timing is a little bit off. I like the fact that you checked queen nine, even though you have the nuts. You're consistent. I like it. And so... I, I do like the fact that you're being very aggressive in that 7-5 spot. I think, as I said, the, the execution is a little bit off, but I do like the fact that you have these types of plays in you. So, shows a lot of heart, and heart is usually a good thing. Queen 9 here, I mean, no matter what happens, we have to pump in a lot of money, right? I mean, we've we've got the super straight here, not just the 9, and we've got the, the flush as a free roll, basically. So, um, I think we have way more nines than uh, either of our opponents, so I think we get to do a lot of leading out here. I probably lead myself. But I think check raising is also a cool play. No matter what happens, the money has to go in here. I mean, having the super straight plus flush draw. 
obviously squeezing Ace King. I think your sizing is. Uh, I think it's fine. <laughs> Very unfortunate there, not getting a call. Too tight, but good preflop folds. Uh, six five. Be careful not to always open raise here, but you can sometimes open raise. And you know, especially deep stacked. <laughs> So we're seeing an un, you know a player with some kind of note or whatnot or mark. He's playing 42 uh, V pip, so he's quite loose. He's going to hit this board quite hard. So especially being you know 230 bigs deep, I would be careful here. So you know we can bet sometimes if we want, but definitely can bet our whole range here. I mean, I would expect our opponent to have you know maybe eight to nine sometimes, but definitely also have hands like Jack 10 and Queen Jack and. Who knows? Maybe he has like 8-5 suited. Fours is kind of loose, but it's fine. And this jack is, I mean, it's an okay card for us. You know, we can have some tens, we can have some hands like pocket jacks and whatnot. So it, it's a fine card for us. You know, the problem is we're trying to bluff a fish off a hand like a pair or two pair. Which is not something which, uh, that you know, it's not something that we can easily do. When Villain checks a third time, it looks to me like he's got a hand that's better than ours, but not by much. You know, a hand like pocket fives or, you know, ace eight suited. I wouldn't hate if he ended up bluffing here, but I'm not sure this Villain is going to do a lot of folding. And we actually somehow win. I think that's quite rare, to be honest. I mean, his call is not even terrible. It's probably not a winning call, but it's not even terrible. Seven five is a call. We could check raise bluff if we, want, we wanted to, but it is ambitious. Meanwhile, a6 is a tight fold. I mean, as I said, we could do something, but I think this is too aggressive. Uh, I do think you're good at spotting weakness in these types of spots, but I think this would be a bit much. Yeah, obviously, you know, you're thinking about it, and you're like, mm, let's see if the six of diamonds was going to roll off. So... You know, I'm suspicious of you, but anyway, it's a good thing. You know, you at least thinking about this play, even though you didn't make it. I mean, I did the same thing, right? I thought about it, but then I thought, eh, it's a bit much. Sometimes, yes, but not, it's a bit much. Five, six suited here. Three, but it's definitely a cool play, especially deep stacked. It's kind of nice to be hitting these low boards, right? Uh, King, King, seven, we can see bet very often. We can bet even smaller than this, but I think the sizing is fine. Definitely go ahead and three bet five six sometimes. Calling is obviously winning play. Um, this hand could be check raised sometimes. It's like a mergy, you know, value protection, future bluffing hand. I wouldn't hate if you ended up check raising here, but obviously calling is winning too with you know pair plus all the back doors, unblocking all of the you know jack ten type of bluffs. I don't mind c betting here with the queens, although check is also fine. No need to go huge or anything. I actually like this check raise quite a bit. I like it a lot. This is a very advanced play, in fact. So I mean, here obviously, you know, we didn't hit we didn't hit our gut shot. We didn't improve to anything. You know, we don't have a flush draw. So I mean, now we have to decide like. If we end up bluffing here, we're basically bluffing, you know, we're basically bluffing to represent a hand like ace five, to represent a hand like ace nine, or, you know, pocket nines, pocket fives, that type of stuff. So do I want to turn my blocker into a bluff? And, you know, we occasionally could. But it's definitely not a standard play to just barrel off with every type of five, right? Ace king, I'd like to see a four bet. Mm -hmm. A little bit larger. We are a little bit deeper. We don't want to give Villain too much post-flop playability. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Other than a couple of, you know, other than missing a couple of pre-flop opens. I mean, so you're probably opening too many of the suited connectors sometimes, and you're probably not opening some of the higher suited stuff. But other than that, your post-flop, uh, your pre-flop game seems right on point. Obviously, pre-flop is a lot easier than post-flop, right? 
Queen 3-3 three, three is a good board for us. You know, we're going to four by queens here. We're going to four by bluff hands like hands like, hands like ace queen offsuit that now have, you know, pretty damn good hands. So, and obviously we have hands like aces and kings. So we can be very aggressive on a board like this. Okay. We could end up triple barreling our hand if we wanted to. At least on a, you know, like a club run out. The nine is not a very good card for us. Um, I mean, villain could have a couple of hands, like for instance, ten nine clubs that now improve, but also he's going to four bet, he's going to three bet call a four bet with pocket nines, you know, very, very often in this spot. So he's going to improve to a full house quite a bit. At the same time, you know, if you have a hand like kings, it's usually still a valley bet. Your hand is still looking pretty good. But, you know, he does improve to a lot of pocket nines now. So, you know, this hand wouldn't be the worst end up bluffing with. You block my flush draws, you block some king uh, some queen x. You even block in like kings, which I, you know, I imagine some villains might have. King 4 3 is a, you know, it's a good board for us. You know, I mean the king is good for us obviously, the 4 and the 3 not so much, but it, they're also not that good for him, right? So, not really not much is happening on this board. There's not many straight uh, draws out there, not many flush draws, and generally when a board is quite dry, you get to be more aggressive. With Ace King here, it's kind of close. I wouldn't hate if you ended up bluffing here. Bluffing is quite aggressive, but again, you know, I do think that a lot of these guys are not very good at facing aggression. Fours, I wouldn't hate if you called here. So I bet if you bet if you bet something like fifty, he folds jacks of tens, tens in, in this case. So. The big blind check calls the flop, it looks like. And now he leads, which is, I mean, he's basically saying he's got two pair, a set or whatnot. I think calling is best with top pair, but I'm a little bit afraid, especially on that card. You know, if he, let's say, took a hand like four or five and turned it into a bluff, he's not got a hand like, he's got two pair, right? If he has a hand like sixes or fives and, you know, he watched some kind of blocker video and decided to use it, use his newly found knowledge, now he's got there. So that's kind of a scary run out. So, I mean, what is he bluffing with? He could have some kind of ace five type of hand, some kind of club hand. I mean, we've got one pair. I think folding is best. You know, generally when you see these kind of goofy lines at lower stakes, they just have it, right? They're not like, oh, I got a good hand, check the lead villain bet. They're like, oh, good hand, I bet, right? So nine three it's kind of annoying right if he makes it 3x we can just fold against this small raise i think calling is probably the play i don't mind folding again the rig really f you <laughs>